What's going on guys? So last time I left you, uh, I, was, I got the training off and everything. Now we're gonna be test fitting the 1J inside just to see if we have any clearance issues. But first what I needed to do was get some mounts. And of course, wrong mounts. Well, this one bolts up, but this one is supposed to be pretty much the same as that one. Which I'm surprised because a lot of people like online, they have these exact same mounts because they're for S chassis, but still that doesn't even bolt up to the 1J. And we're gonna have to modify these, extend this a little bit, but what I, I would advise you guys get excessive uh, motor mounts because they're the exact same. Both of these are the same rather than having different, um, different brackets like that. But nothing a little uh, welding can solve, so we're gonna get to that first. We're gonna take off the ones that are on here. Uh, I was looking online, they're kind of a pain, well at least one of them, because one's literally right underneath the oil filter there, and this one shouldn't be too bad. I saw a video where somebody took like the whole manifold off and everything, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, we got this side out. This one isn't bad at all, but I'm just gonna show you guys real quick what the difference is like. Look how they are, the spacing way off so we're gonna have to add some material to this grind this off take off this paint and just extend it a little bit over just to line up all right so i just found a little piece of metal and this is going to be the little section that we're going to add on to it nothing too crazy i was just going to cut it here as well but actually because since this is the turbo side uh there's nothing hitting it so i'm just going to cut it through there and then we could just weld it right here all right guys, we weren't able to get to that last bowl, so we had to take off this whole uh, oil cooler side. We were gonna take it off anyways because I'm gonna be going with uh, like a Gretti style sandwich plate. So I use uh, like the oil pressure and oil temp gauges, but it wasn't too, too bad. You just remove one bowl here and the one that holds the oil cooler itself. Boom, that's out. And this whole thing should come right out. Yep. Oh. All right, there goes all the oil. All right, we got the new mounts in. Just off reference, so this little brace right here that goes to the intake manifold, uh, I just decided to keep it just because since it was a brace, why not keep it? So all I did was just make two little slit and just bend it back a little just because it was hitting the mount right here. But it's perfect. Shout out to the homie Joey, uh, he just did some welding for me. Just extended this, we're just cleaning this up here and hopefully it should fit. Made the marks already as well. We're gonna have to make them again after we clean this up. And then we can mount these bad boys in and test fit that into there. All right, we got the finished product here. Wasn't too far off, just needs to, this top part right here just needs a little bit more shaving. The hole needs to be literally just like that much bigger, but Honestly, came out pretty good. Can't complain. Now you can do like we got Adrian right here finally assembling his block. What'd you do to it, eh? <laughs> Nothing. It's a stock block for sale. Eight hundred bucks or Buy best offer. Get the crazy <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a quick little fun break, so gonna get some tandems in real quick. Oh, there! Oh, <laughs> there's my legs. Look at that reverse entry. All right, we're gonna set this up like right here. We had to get the big guns. What motor? So we're gonna put this motor finally into here with the help of everybody. Just because it's freshly painted, A was sweating his balls off doing it, so we gotta make sure we don't <laughs> scratch anything. Okay. All right, here we go, teamwork. Uh, 
The moment you've been waiting for. It's somewhat in. We're just gonna bolt down uh, some good old dollar fifty hockey pucks and we should be good. So what we had to do was uh, I just wanted to put the motor in just to make sure because my biggest concern was first off, since these are front sump, a lot of people will change them to rear sumps like on uh, MK3 Supras and stuff like that. Made sure the mounts lined up. They lined up so that was good. That saved me about a hundred bucks. And the other concern was right here, if you can see the steering column, I don't know if you can see, but the steering column's right here, and then the downpipe where the turbo is. So non-VVTi and 2JZ, since they're twin turbo, they always hit literally, they'll extend all the way back here. But, just gotta put it on the training, we're gonna pull this right back out. But I'm pleased, the 1J's inside. No scratches on the paint either, dude. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> this was the other uh, dilemma right here. This is gonna go back a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna go far back enough where uh, I wanted to run a clutch fan, but I might have to run electric fans. Uh, nah, this should definitely move back a little more. So we're gonna do some more uh, measuring and everything, and I don't know, we'll get back to that. Had some clearance issues with the 1J. It was literally about maybe six to seven inches from the firewall back and I didn't take into account that I forgot that the R32, R34 uh, front subframe was actually a lot farther up than what I thought. I thought it was pretty much the same as the S13 but as you can see this is the R chassis right here how far up it is. Now we'll go up so the S13 one, you see how far back it is? And the main reason was, because when I looked at Adrian's car, I'll show you guys right here. Adrian's car right here, S13. S13 uh, front subframe cross member. See how far up it needs to go in order to fit an RB? That right there is about a good five inches, five, six inches. So in theory, what we're doing is, taking the R32 one, uh, R34 one out. I'm gonna put the S13 one in, but the other dilemma was steering rack. Left hand drive, right hand drive. But what I did was I took the steering rack off of that. Hopefully it should line up in theory. So we're gonna take this out, keep the steering rack in there so we don't really have to mess with all that. Four bolts holding uh, the front cross member subframe there and pray that it works, cross our fingers. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, we finally got it out. This is a R34 one here, and remove the steering rack, kept the steering rack in here. Wasn't too bad to come out. Uh, we're gonna be deleting all this Hikus as well, so we don't need any of that. And just gonna be cleaning up. That's 13 one right now, get rid of all that grime and all that good stuff. Spray some purple powder and call it a day. All right, so we got it in finally. Now, the only dilemma is, like I was saying, I had a feeling because this is actually a little bit different than this because this is uh, left-hand drive. I'm sweating balls here. So that's the good and bad news, but I'll take it. But it all fits and everything. Gonna either modify this section right here, maybe trim it, grind it down a little bit, just so uh, the fittings can fit better with the lines coming out through the side here. Or just get uh, some more flexible fittings so I could run this back again. We're gonna go check out at Pep Boys now and see what we have. Bam, everything's all bolted up and everything. So what I did was I just made a little slit right here and then folded it right there and pretty much that all fits good. So now what we're gonna do is switch back the motor mounts because I'm just gonna put them the way that I first saw them just to be safe. And then we could put this back in there for like the fifth time, then we should be good. 
In the meantime, Adrian right here finally has everything almost assembled, torquing down the whole head, making sure to be efficient. All right, that's pretty much gonna be for that. Everything's all bolted up, got the mounts in, everything fits pretty good here. Only thing I'm waiting for now is a whole clutch and flywheel for that, uh, throttle bearing, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying the build, staying up to date, everything. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, get some merch if you haven't, give it a thumbs up, and see you guys next time.